Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa Ellen Arianas, T-E-A, and this is Tea Time Adventures on YouTube. You want to know what else it is? It's Timu time! Yes it is! Yay! This is PR haul number three, video number five of five. And this one's got a little bit of a twist. Hi Dara, you already had your treats. Yeah. yeah, I know I touched your tail. So, <laughs> are you coming over to say hi? No? You have to come over here to say hi. Oh, just come here. Say hi to people. Say hi to people. Say hi. No, you don't want to say hi. No, say hi. Yeah, you're a good girl. Okay, go away. Yep, go away. You're going to help or not? No? Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> talking to my kid. Speaking of kids, that's what this Timu haul is all about. The kids. Now, I don't have kids. Except that one, the four-footed one that begs for treatsies constantly. But this is about you, my subscribers. A lot of you have kids. Imagine that, right? Those are not for you. <laughs> you have kids. You have grandkids, you have nieces and nephews, you take care of other people's children, you have a lot of kids out there with my subscribers. And I decided that this last part of this team haul was going to be all about the kids. Now, being the slowpoke that I am and having been sick most of March, I missed pretty much that Easter rush. Um, and that's when pretty much all of this stuff was bought back at the very, very beginning of May, probably the end of February, when I uh, put in my order with Miss Doris of Timu, who we all love and adore. Hi, Doris. Um, so this is about kids. And so this video has a little bit of a twist. Yes, it is my PR video number five. But I also did a little haul just to pad it out just a little bit with my own money. And you got to know what's coming on. We're going to do a giveaway. Now, those of you that have won giveaways for me in the last four months know that I have not gotten to the post office since, well, I think Morgan Griggs got something from me. So let's say November, and I haven't been able to get to the post office, get, obtain any rides from friends or anything since mid-December. I think the oldest giveaways I still owe people are Haiku Barbie and Reviews with Sue, which were my very first Timu PR haul, I believe, and they won uh, eyeshadow palettes and uh, eyeshadow brush sets, and I still haven't been able to get to the post office, so I owe all of my winner's stuff, so this may take a while to get to you, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to have a giveaway anyway, so let's go ahead and get into the bag, because I've been talking for three minutes already, so I'll tell you about the giveaway later on, and I don't have, of course, anything in front of me to remind me about it, but... The first thing I'm going to show you, it is a tiny little kid's 42-piece art set that only cost $5.39. And I picked a pink one. There was a blue spaceship one and the one with a pink kitty. And since I've got kitties, um, I chose the pink one. And it's just a tiny little art set. It's got some crayons. It's got some pens. It's got some oil pastel over here. It's got a little paint set with a paintbrush, a eraser, a little um, a pencil sharpener and a tiny little bottle, I don't know if you can see that right there, that you can put water in so you can take the water with you so you can do the paints. So that is item number one and it is absolutely stinking adorable. So item number one. Second item is for a little bit more grown-up girls. And no, this is not all about girls. That will be things that will be gender neutral or possibly a little more boy oriented. But I like to just think that everybody can play with everything. This would be great for a general toy box that you have when friends come over with their kids, uh, for your own kids. Uh, you know, if you have nieces and nephews or grandchildren that come over. So, um, yeah. The next thing is a friendship bracelet kit. So you are going to be doing a little bit of weaving back and forth. And you can make up to 10 bracelets with this. 10 colors of embroidery floss, 2 looms, 
beads, beading needle, easy instructions, all kids safe, um, eight years old and up, and it was $5.39. So you can make some friendship bracelets, supervised, unsupervised, depending on the child's age, eight years and up. Next thing, kind of reminds me of something when I was little, and these are little cups, and they have handles <laughs> that screw into them there, and they're little balls, and you hit the little handle button, and the ball goes up in the air, the next person catches it with theirs. So, not really like badminton, but I'm sure we all had someone uh, that we used to play this with. So, this has a handle, you press the little button, the ball pops up, the next person catches it, and then you move back like another foot and do it again. So, I thought that was good, and the price tag has come off of it, because of course it has. Um, unless it's floating around down here somewhere. Anyway, so that's sort of a general neutral thing, but I got it in blue, though they do have little hearts on them. Those are adorable. So, don't know where that price tag went to. I think it probably fall, fell off in the bag. Alrighty, the next thing is a drawing board with light and pen, ages three and up. And again, I do not have this plugged in. Um, let's open it up. It's got a little light pen. I believe it takes a battery. If I have the battery, I will include it. I don't see the information. And it's just a little light source that you can doodle around with it three years and up. Got a little light pin. Oh, I think there it is. I don't know if you can see that, but if you take that out, I think it activates the battery for this. So gonna have to keep track of that. It probably takes the little circular watch batteries or what have you. Um, and I thought that's, again, gender neutral, something that keeps the little littles just scribbling and drawing, keeps them active and happy, could be taken along in the car for a car trip. Um, if they're not interested in maybe the movie that you're watching or something that's going on with the older kids, the little littles have something to do. And again, that was uh, $3.14. The next item is a little bit bigger. It was uh, along the same lines, and it is a digital writing tablet for $3.98. This is a three and a half inch LCD writing tablet, um, and you can do a lot more with that. I think I did get the, I think I did have, I might have the batteries for this, which I think is the CR3025, I think. And it's something simple. It comes with its own stylus. It comes with trash if you want to don't want to keep what you have um, on and off switches in the back so it's relatively safe it is doesn't have glass so it's not going to break and shatter so it's safe for little hands um, I think they said that it is they don't have an age group on here so again eight and a half inches uh, a lone little drawing tablet that lights up with its own stylus and a trash button and an on and off so you can't really save them Yes, it takes the CR2025, and I do believe I have that, so I would probably include one of the batteries to help you along there. Um, if I do have a battery, I'll include it. If I don't, well, then I'll have to go from there. Next item in the bag, again, gender neutral or a little more buoyant, I don't know. So it is a soft Frisbee type toy, and this was $3.59. It's not quite foamy, but a little spongy. And I thought, not only is it red, white, and blue for the upcoming uh, patriotic holidays that we have that cap uh, the summer months of uh, Memorial Day and uh, Fourth of July and uh, Labor Day. And <laughs> so, um, got a little frisbee toy. I don't know how it would do with dogs. Um, the dog's teeth might puncture this. So again, keeping it kid safe, um, it's bendable. It's not gonna hurt if it hits them in the face. So <laughs> there's that. The next thing I have is a aha pop and pass. The pop and pass toys, the little cups, were three dollars and fourteen cents. I knew it was down there somewhere. The next is a different type of building blocks, and these are building block connector connectors, sixty pieces, four dollars and forty eight cents. Very colorful, and. They're not gonna be the same as Lincoln Logs. They're not going to be the, the same as Legos, but they do connect all the way around. And they can build stuff and put them together. It's good motor skills for small hands. 
Um, these are going to be a bear if you step on them in the middle of the night. But again, self-contained in a little baggie. So that should be fine. Um, and again, that was $4.48. And there's 60 of these little connective blocks. Now, the last item in this bag is going to segue us into bag number two. Oh, yes, bag number two. So this is still the PR haul. I got two duplicate sets of slides. And um, there was a little bit of mishap in my PR haul. I had asked for a tiny little handheld microscope. And I got matching pairs of the microscope slides instead. Um, so I actually... Uh, don't know the price of the slides. They are exact duplicate slides. <laughs> um, and I'll send both. <laughs> you never know. One kid may not uh, want to share their slides, but there's only going to be one microscope. Which leads us to bag number two. This bag I paid for by myself because I wanted to pad the kids stuff out just a little bit. Now, because of the slight mishap with the PR haul, if something happens, they don't necessarily replace it. Um, so, what are slides without the microscope? There we go. This was $4.78. I paid for it myself, ages six and up. And this is what the slides go into. It is a tiny little handheld microscope. Again, if I have the batteries, I'll send them along. If I don't have the batteries, you'll have to supply them. But it's just this little handheld microscope that the slides fit in, um, that you can see down in. Um, I don't quite know how it works. What does this one take? I don't know what this one takes. Um, but I just thought, gender neutral, you could put the slides there. I'm betting that you could you know, put other things underneath as well. You could put leaves, you could put any other thing that you want to examine, but I thought that's a good way to um, promote science. That was one of my favorite subjects growing up myself, and I really like to be a, a proponent of the scientific arts as well as literacy. So that's what prompted a personal buy to add to this PR haul. So that's going to be in there. Well, while I was there, I was looking around, <laughs> and I found this absolutely adorable. I guess it's like a kind of little dartboard at $2.48. It was in the shape of a monkey. How do I open this? Mm, there we are. All right. And it's just a tiny little throw -em type of dartboard, I guess you could call it, or adorable little monkey. It's soft. Again, easily pinned to a door, and it comes with a little hook that you can tape up somewhere, so it would take the stick them off and pin it up somewhere. And then it comes with three little, don't move, three little Velcro balls. So you can aim, and little soft darts. So I guess you could call it a dart game, sort of. Not like the dark games Dan from England does, but, you know, it's for little kids. So I think the age, um, three and up, I, I believe it is. So that's one thing that I wanted to, to add, just because I thought it was super cute. Um, and again, we're just trying to keep little hands and little minds busy. Um, something that would be fun to play, that they don't have to have a large attention span for, but it might be good, and I think they're something that's relatively easy to keep in, just like a, a tiny little toy box. All of the rest of the items are itty bitty little items, and I'm going to quantify this by saying I am not responsible for anything that is done with these tiny little items. So if you have small children that like to put things in their mouth or up their nose, you are responsible. I am not. I'm not responsible for getting a tiny little dinosaur egg stuck up a child's nose. This is a random dinosaur egg for 38 cents. And you plop it in water and it grows. So I have no idea what type of dinosaur it is. It could be tri Tyrannosaurus rex, it could be Triceratops, it could be an Anglosaur. You'll know when you drop it in a cup of water. So, again, 38 cents. Something that you can dry out, use over and again. You can hold it in the bathtub. You could watch it grow, you know, at the sink. It just, 
something little tiny fun and if it's lost or if it's broken or if it doesn't work more than once that's 38 cents so the next thing I got was 58 cents and it's just one of those tiny little pinball toys um, we all used to play with these we all used to get these at Easter etc 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 so it's just a tiny little um, toy that you push the plunger and it's all contained so they can't swallow the beads or everything but 58 cents I thought that was just like a cute I'm thinking in terms of stocking stuffers um, if you know what I mean uh, the next item was 78 cents and this is a keychain what is a tiny little spaceman so I thought that might be cute again boy girl oriented gender neutral whatever you want but a tiny little one so I think we've got um, two items left another odd find and I don't know what it is, actually you're going to find out what it is more than I will, it was 48 cents and it was titled Blind Mystery Mini Pet Bag and that is all I see. There is something tiny in there. That big. Whatever it is. I don't know if it sits on a shelf, um, but again it is tiny. This could be a choking hazard for small children. I don't think they can fit it up their nose, but you never know but you are responsible if you have a small child to make sure that this is kept out of their harm's way, out of their hands, out of their mouth, out of their nose, wherever they decide to put it. Um, <laughs> so just a little thing. Again, something to think about. And because I'm slow, <laughs> there's Easter stickers. <laughs> and they were 98 cents. So uh, again, I'm, I'm so sorry this was supposed to be um, a little bit earlier, I got sick and then I got lazy. So, um, you got a lot of bunnies, you know, you got a lot of eggs. They'll be fine for next year, um, <laughs> even if they do say Happy Easter. So, um, everybody likes stickers. So, that's what is in this PR haul with an added little extra haul that I bought myself to kind of pad it out. And all of this is in a giveaway. So all of my giveaway rules will be down below. I'm going to run it until the end of April. So please uh, share it out. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, you have to be subscribed to me. Um, and I'm going to say that it's going to run till the end of the month, the last day of the month, which I don't have my... This is my phone, so whatever the last day of, the month of April is, um, it'll run till then. Uh, and then I will choose the winner and post it on my community tab. Um, it can be the entire United States. It's not going to go overseas, only in the United States, including Alaska and Hawaii. It is um, Timu and YouTube are and any of the... Uh, vendors involved are not responsible uh, and not in charge of this. This is something that I'm putting together myself uh, along with the PR haul from Timu, but they are not responsible for this giveaway. This is something that's done completely on my own. Um, there's a lot of more blah 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 rules down below and I will have it all written out below, but then the things that you need to know are that it's going to run till the end of April. I will pick my winner and put it on my community tab. You must be publicly subscribed to me. That means if I go to your YouTube channel and go to your channel column, that it will have my happy little face somewhere along the lines. And the secret word that I'm going to be using, and I'm going to misspell it on purpose, is the word kids. K-I-D-Z. No S, just a Z. K-I-D-Z. And that's a secret word that you need to use in some sort of misspelled sentence. Make it interesting, make it fun, and all of this could be yours. <laughs> so hopefully those of you with children, with grandchildren, nieces and nephews, those that have friends that come over that have small children, um, you know, under the age of, let's say, you know, 10 or 12, um, that might enjoy these products. Please, please, please. Um, be part of this giveaway. I hope that you will be interested enough. Um, I know that there are a lot of uh, subscribers that are not part of the beauty unboxing world, and I know you tend to not put in any for the giveaways, so I really hope you do. I know some of you have children, even though you may be a die caster, you may be a card ripper, you may be a farmer, you may... <laughs> 
be a lot of other things, like a comic book collector, but if you have kids, grandkids, nieces and nephews, children that come over to your house and that you'd like all of this to be part of a little toy box for them, you'll have to provide the box, but please, please, please put in for this giveaway. So that is it for now. I hope you will consider giving this video a thumbs up. Yes, Tom Thumb is back. The guru had to remind me. Yes, the guru had to remind me that he had not seen Tom Thumb in a while. So make an appearance just for you, guru. Please just give this video a thumbs up for positivity. So thank you so much, everyone for coming to visit with me today. I know I've been a bit haphazard, erratic, and sporadic with my uploads, but I thank you all for coming back. For those that are new on the bus, just checking me out. Thank you so much for the visit. I hope that you will consider subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, leaving me a comment. I love comments. Let me not get back to you right away. <laughs> Eh, but I will try. <laughs> so thank you so much, everybody. Love you all. Please take care of yourselves. Please take care of each other. And I will see you around the net. Bye.